Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and tonight I am starting on an amazing endeavor. We choose to go to the moon via Lego. This is the Lego Ideas Saturn V set. It was the winner of the Lego I of one Lego Ideas competition. It just came out today. I had to go to the Lego store in San Francisco at 10 a.m. And I'm reliably informed that by uh, 11, they had sold out all their sets. So I'm very happy to have this. So yeah, it is almost 2,000 pieces. I noticed that it is cunningly 1969 pieces, as if that's some sort of magic number with respect to the Apollo program. It has, on the back, you can see it does full staging. It has all the different stages, including the fairings, the petals here attached. It has a little landing area for it. It has a return, a capsule return with the inflatable uh, collar around it. This looks amazing. It's about one meter tall. It's $120, which I'm gonna say is an amazing deal for Lego, I'm pretty sure. If you count the, the average cost of like uh, per brick is usually about- 10 cents. 10 cents. So this is great deal. I am very excited to build this. So let's take a look at what's in the box. Ooh, excitement builds. We have some Lego. We get some nice circular panels here. We have more Lego with lots of things such as States and United, because we are in fact in the United States, or they're at least the ones that built it. Uh, yeah, lots more pieces. Okay, come on, we gotta find something. More pieces! My god, this is package one, two, three, four, five. I'm not very good at doing Lego unboxing, so He's bear with me totally. as I'm trying to figure this out. Okay. More Lego, would you believe? There must be a manual in here. Oh, there's a manual. Oh, yes. Oh, <laughs> just feel the manual. Oh, it is so silky smooth inside. It's rubber. It's a polythene wrapping. Okay, this is a lot of Lego here. This is an insane amount of Lego. So we figured out one meter tall, right, is appropriate for the size of the figures, which are kind of like the Oscar size mini trophies. Um, Somebody figured out that the minifigures have a scale of about 42 to 1. So your average minifigure, 42 to 1, with a 111 meter rocket, comes out to be about 2.65 meters tall. Or about 8 feet, just over 8 to 9 feet tall, if you were to build a proper minifig scale rocket. So, you know, 1 meter tall is still pretty big. In fact, it's bigger than the Revel model kit I built earlier this year. So here we go, Saturn V, building instructions. I love the diagrams of the car. It looks a little aged, like an old thing. Nice hard cover to it, right? This is not a disposable manual. It's a nice thick cardstock cover with uh, photographs from the Apollo program. On May 25th, 1961, President John F. Kennedy challenged his country to safely send and return an American to the moon before the end of the decade. Yeah, so they come up, it gives you the whole journey to the moon with timeline for all the events so you can do your staging properly. Has a section on the fan that designed this and the team that helped bring the uh, final design to life. Uh, we got to obviously, I like how they got dressed up to look like they were in the Apollo program. Yeah, they, these are what designers looked like. Uh, oh, and then they have, of course, the same section in French. Because, you know, the French are Brilliant. all about liberty and everything and space. And then Spanish. Uh, oh, and we have the Saturno 5. That's a different one. Wait a second. Did I miss that on the English section? I'm curious now. Did, did that... Oh, there it is. Yes, they have it in English. I totally managed to page over that. Beautiful. It includes the whole a little guide in the bottom left corner. Sorry, yeah, bottom... This corner here for you, right? About the... Um, transposition, rotation, and docking maneuver, right? So that's how they basically would take the spacecraft, their command module off, turn it around, pick up the lunar module, and then be on their way to the moon. What, what else? So we have very, we have some ads at the back, and then guide to the staging, so you can see how the different parts work. Uh, and obviously that is 
kind of weird. It looks like he's grasping that in a way which is a little suggestive, considering it is a, a rocket. Wow. Um, how many pages are there in here? But almost 200 pages worth of instructions. And it's worth noting, actually, that the construction style here is really interesting. It's very different. Instead of having a lot of round pieces for the first stages, they've kind of got this octagonal structure in the middle where pieces are attached onto the side. I'm really interested to see how that'll work out. Uh, yeah, look, there's the F1 engines there. I am so looking forward to build this, but of course, I'm not going to narrate the whole thing the whole time. No, we're going to put on like a live Twitch stream and I'm going to record a time lapse and hopefully we will have a Lego Saturn Fire for you soon. <laughs> This is an amazing build. I, I've, I've not really been the kind of person to build lots of Lego, but this really, uh, it did so many things I'd never expected before. So the whole thing, let's see if it works up vertically. It does stand vertically. I come in here, let's start from the very top. Come in very close, Orion. So you can see they use these like fire hose structures to create the uh, lattice work of the launch escape system. We have the white cover here. For, which covers the capsule during ascent, as opposed to the actual capsule here, which is shown in splashdown mode with the uh, flotation collar. So that's the way they got around the fact that there was a, like a thin shield on the top. The, uh, the ascent, oh, sorry, the service module, now this is the hard part. This does come off, right? And this is where the lunar module would go. So to actually get it off, you have to pop it apart and there's your service engine in there. I'm not going to do that, but it, it's one of the weaker points on this, where, where that is there. The lunar module, of course, is down here with the little uh, astronauts. Now, these are actually trophy figures, which were, uh, I can't remember what set they came in, but for comparison, there is a regular mini figure there, obviously now dying because he's on the surface of the moon. This is beautiful. The ascent stage comes off on its own. Yeah, I just keep saying beautiful. It's so darn beautiful here. Okay, so that does in theory fit inside here, but you're not going to want to do that. So we have third stage. Again, this does just secure in here, and I'm going to pull it off very gently. There we go. So we have uh, the, the ascent stage. Now, at this point, you're going to see that the profile is actually octagonal. These edge plates, these are like uh, roofing tiles which you stack along the sides. And most of the time building is actually spent building an internal structure to support all these uh, octagonal builds. It's, it's like, it blew my mind. It came up with all these really interesting construction techniques. These are things that are attached at uh, 45 degrees. You see how there's a little uh, lem, you know, lip in there to make that work. These, there's actually like a, a laser that sticks into the inside of this to match it. There's your J2 engine with a little orange bit to show the uh, the thruster, you know, the, the thing burning. Okay, so the top of this, well, let's see if I can take this apart without breaking it, because of course we've had problems in the past. Ah, come on. Oh wow, this is really taking a hard one, I'm afraid. But there we go. And we did have some unplanned disassembly. So while we're here, yeah, just 
you can take a look at the octagonal structure that's built inside and these all kind of come together to make the shape of the first stage. So that's the first stage. This is the second stage. Again, uh, a lot of work to make this uh, go together here. There's pieces used in ways that I'd never expected. Fuel ducting along the side, or actually, yeah, I'll just say ducting along the side. <laughs> I should probably look that up in the Apollo uh, Saturn V manual. Five J2 engines, you get the merest hint of the, um, the conical shape of the uh, attachment point there. Yeah, this, uh, okay, other thing to note, right, is that while you have these, there's four of these, right, with the curved tiles, and the vertical parts have the United States, all printed, no stickers, by the way. These here, these are in sets of two, and they have a really interesting trick to attach them into the middle. So this thing is going for kind of accurate scale, but it's also, if you're a Lego fan, it's just using all sorts of construction te techniques you may never have encountered before. I know I haven't encountered them. First stage, understandably massive. We have the F1 engines down here, five of them, largest single uh, chamber you know, thrust chamber rocket engines ever built. Um, you have things like the megaphone from, you know, the from the old sets there used to demonstrate the kind of engine plumbing down here. This just, this is such an amazing set. If you're a Lego builder, you will love this set. If you're a rocket fan, you will see all sorts of details. I, I, I'm just, this is, Marvelous. I had so much fun building that last night and I thoroughly recommend this. I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.